Hello YouTube, today I want to show you how to set up your wireless DMX controller. Um, I'm going to use um, standard DMX light, it's just RGB light. I'm going to use a tablet, Android tablet, and just something to power the controller. Um, I'm going to use a, a USB charger, you can use any USB, you can plug it to computer, to power bank or anything you want. So I just start with the application. I'll press on Google Play and well, I already typed it in before but what you're going to want to do is type DMX control into search bar search for it and open uh, click on the application install it first accept okay while this is installing I just connect the um, uh, the power to power the controller so that goes the USB plug goes to the USB charger and the other end which is the XR just going into into my light. I'm using on the one light for demo purposes but you probably already know this you can link um, as many as you want. You can have over 100 of 100 lights because DMX goes in and there's a DMX socket out so in and out you could have 100 daisy chain um, light and you can control all of them from, from this controller. Um, I'm gonna power this DMX light. Okay so this is done. Now the next thing we want to do is to turn on Bluetooth if, if it's not on and we want to go to settings and we actually want to find this controller and pair it this process you only have to do once once you pair this in uh, with you, with your Android uh, it, it'll remember it and and you don't need to do this anymore unless you reset the settings or, or something or unless something happens to your Bluetooth so I'm just connect on this control normally it's gonna come up with this number um, the serial number so it'll be the same so here I'm just gonna type one two three and four that's the code it re request the pairing code which is uh, standard one two three and four just I'm gonna click OK okay so I believe that's paired let's just go back the application has been downloaded so let's just open the application once we open it's gonna request a code Okay, so here we type th this code, we're gonna use it again, and we're gonna type it in. But also there's another way how to do it. I'm not gonna type it in, just it's really easy. You just type in and press enter, and the, the, the application will remember the serial number of this device, and the next time you don't have to do this, next time you just press uh, connect, and, and that's, that, that's it, that's gonna get you into an application. But you have to have uh, connection between the um, um, you have to have connection uh, between Android and the DMX controller uh, to actually get into this application okay you can you can obviously click here and you can order the controller if you don't have it and you, and you really want to try it out if you hit, click on this this button it actually gets you the link to the website where you can order one um, I'm going to post this in the description if, you, if you're interested. Okay, so uh, how we don't have to type this code, we can also do a manual connection. Oops, the screen turned off. Okay, so we can click on this cogwheel and just do manual connect. And one of those is actually my, um, uh, my DMX controller. And one of them is uh, uh, my um, Bluetooth speaker. So I know this is my Bluetooth because I just click on this one, but basically the number here um, is the same as the number here at the back. So let's just connect into it. It just takes a few seconds uh, for it to establish connection and we, we're in the business. So now, this is a bit awkward for me, but I'm sure you'll be able to see. You can move the faders to change the color. Uh, okay, that's RGB, so I have only three colors. I'm not gonna go through the whole application. There's a few videos already online how to how to control different lights and stuff as I said you can have not one you can have up to 100 lights and you can control them from here this also you can add faders and things but I'm not going to go through this all I wanted to show you is how to connect it for the first time and that's about it so now if I would exit this application okay and now I open it again click open now you can see I don't have to type no code all I do uh, I make sure that this is connecting to USB power. All I do is click this button and it's going to re-establish the connection. So there's no need, no more codes, no nothing. 
unless you uninstall and reinstall the application or you reset your phone, then you would probably have to um, uh, pair it again with your Bluetooth device. But that's about it. Let's just have a look again. Okay, so you close it, you open it, take some time to, to start up. Okay, so you click on it and that established a connection. And come on. That's it. So now we can control the light. Okay, thank you for your attention.